Hi, so in this video we're going to start talking about the gradient of a straight line. What we mean by that is if you look at a straight line, and it's usually given to you on a graph or something like that, so we've got um, a fairly typical graph and on that you're going to have a series of lines or one line and what they want to know is how steep that line is. So it could be like that which is relatively shallow or it could be a little bit steeper like that. And the way that we um, describe lines on a straight line graph is to use a general form which is something like y equals mx plus c. Okay, um, and if you look at the equation on any of these lines, it basically is described by that form in various different ways, but they all mean exactly the same. The first thing is, is this m means gradient. Okay, so this is the bit that we're going to be looking at today, and this c here means the intercept. Okay, and you can imagine that if you're describing a straight line on a graph, then really the two things you need to know is how steep it is, so whether it's going to go really steep like that or not so, not so steep, and also where it crosses the y-axis, which is this little bit here. In other words, where it actually starts from. Okay, so the thing that we're going to look at today is going to be the gradients. And then what I'm going to do is create a playlist and over the next couple of videos. It'll give you some idea of the kind of examples, the kind of questions that you're going to get at high school maths relating to this particular topic. Okay, so gradient first. Now the main thing about gradient, the thing that you need to remember is the way that we describe it is the difference in y divided by the difference in x. And you can imagine what we're doing is we're saying, well, how far am I going to go up for how far am I going to go along? So if you imagine that you're, you're, uh, you're walking up a hill, okay? Well, what you're doing is you're describing how far you're actually going to go up that hill for how much distance you're going to go along. And that's exactly the way that we describe gradient on a straight line. Uh, using difference in y divided by difference in x. Okay, so I'll give you a proper example. Um, the easiest way to do it is if you imagine that you've got uh, the graph, okay, and usually what you're given is a couple of different uh, coordinates and that will allow you to work out differences. Now for the purposes of this video I'm just going to be fairly straightforward and I'm going to say this point here is zero, okay, and we'll say it's got a height of two. So it could be two centimetres or two degrees or whatever it might be. Okay, this point here has got a distance of, uh, let's say, four, and a height of, let's say, four as well. Okay, so the difference in y divided by the difference in x. Well, this is the y-axis, and you can see here that the difference between the two is four take away two which is 2. So in other words, the difference in y equals 2, and we're going to divide that by the difference in x, and that's going to equal the distance here between 0 and 4. Okay, so it's this distance along here, the difference, okay, 0 to 4, so that's 4. So in other words, the gradient of this line is 2 divided by 4, which is a half or 0.5. Okay, and that's how we would describe that particular gradient on this particular graph. Um, I hope that's been okay for you. It's just my way of introduction to how we look at gradients on straight lines. Um, there are a couple of different applications for it, and if you click on the links and go through to the next video in the playlist, that'll give you a couple of exam questions to have a look at. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.